Hello Leo, I'm Karma. Welcome to my channel, Karma on Deck. I work for My Psychic One and I'm guesting here on Baba Lau's uh, Psychic Readings channel this week. So I will be doing some of your cards for the week of July 15th through the, uh, the 21st. Is that right? We have the lunar eclipse that was going on this week. That is exciting. And we're full on in Mercury retrograde. So let's take a look at what's going on for you, Leo. And let's see what's showing up for you guys. I know it's been pretty intense emotionally for just about every zodiac sign throughout that's been coming to me and clients and what they've been saying has been affecting them. So it's kind of intense for everyone. If you're feeling emotional, expect it, write it out, give yourself some extra time. Let's see where we sit with this Leo. First thing that comes up for you is tension. So that's pressure. Four of Swords is all about, you know, true deadlines. Needle on the nose. Deadline is right now feeling overwhelmed. So this week it's telling me that you have a little bit of a, ten, um, a tendency to feel like you can't catch up. Trust your intuition, however. I do see the temperance card being a, playing a big role in um, your decision making, both intuition and temperance side by side, really reflect on you paying attention to your spiritual path. The temperance card is all about balance, give and take, looking at your journey. You do have the um, high priestess, so if your instincts are firing and you're hearing little voices in your head telling you to pay attention to a certain aspect, it's definitely time for you to do that. I see the two of wands as well, and the two of wands indicates that you have entirely too many people in your business, and then you have the five of wands over here, which is you feeling back into a corner that's just because the conversations that have come up have gotten a little misunderstood and it feels like you know now that you're on the defense because of these misunderstandings i do see some celebration coming for you if you look here for temperance and the star card those two together are beautiful because the star card astrology paying attention to the divine and temperance is all about balance so as you go through this week it's really um making mention of spiritual path um you know, you have the Page of Cups, so there's new relationship energy or renewal within the lovers that you have in your life. And so you're seeing things with fresh eyes. And there may be some situations where you feel like you're starting over. Um, for a lot of people, Mercury Retrograde is the hands-off phase when it comes to restarting relationships or renewing a phase. Because we know that things can be misunderstood. But I often say Mercury Retrograde is perfect for people to allow themselves to expose what's really going on underneath in the patterns. And also for you to... Um, take a good look at what the situations are actually in play and not just the emotions that are in play. So actions, reactions, things like that. I do have the six of wands. That's all about victory for you. So victory in work, wands is work. But like I said, I don't know if it's a work related situation where the two of wands and the five of wands are making you feel defensive or things are going back and forth with individuals. I would just take a step back and give yourself extra space and just ignore it. Anyways, I'm Karma. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, um, book at karmaondeck.com. If you register on My Psychic One, there is a free 10 minutes with Baba Lau. So just register on mypsychic.one. You can find those in the links. Meanwhile, leave me a comment. Let me know where you are in the world. But before I go, I am going to pull a card from Divination of the Ancients for you guys. So let's see what this says. And how this aligns for Leo. Footprints, what's that all about? Let's see what's next for you. Footprints, it says. So footprints, okay guys? So it says direction. It says you've been wondering which way in life you could go and concerns regarding family, career, or life purpose have arisen. The answer is this. Go towards that which brings you closer to the divine. Seek that which truly feeds your soul for this will show you the need the road to tread. Be careful, however, to understand what is truly means. The ego is a wonderful way of tricking you into dreaming up get-rich-quick schemes or shortcuts to the truth. The truth is always consistent and loving. Step into your soul's knowing and focus. It says, focus on your heart's passion, talents, and interests. These clues will point you in the right direction. So it says, should I go here? Perhaps do that. Be a parent, an artist, or a big fat cat. Erg, ego, no. It's not your say. Divine guidance will show the way. So it says here, don't let anyone push you off your chosen path. You have an important decision to make. 
Always choose the road of peace and happiness. Release lack mentality and listen to your inner guidance. You're on the right path. So lack mentality is also scarcity mentality. It's all questioning your abundance, messing with the timeline of your uh, manifestation. You have to like put your manifestations out there, realize that and look at your end result more so than the mechanism. When you look at the moving parts too much, you get overwhelmed. You just got to keep your eye fully focused on those items that are straight out and ahead of you. So put your intention clear and your mechanism will appear. All right, guys, I'm Karma with Karma on Deck. Thank you for listening. I'll be on live a little later. Um, and if you have any questions, please just reach out and I will see you guys soon. Have a good night.